hey what's up in today's video we'll be looking at a tool called traffic so what's traffic traffic is a reverse proxy router which acts on your uh, specifically in this example a uh, docker setup so you have a docker node where you have a bunch of containers running and uh, each container runs a different web app traffic helps you route traffic to the respective web application um, it's a configurable router and um, you can specify whatever configuration you want and it gives you free uh, uh, TLS certificates which we'll see how to do that in this video. So that's about traffic and uh, for the purposes of uh, using uh, demonstrating traffic I'll be using a small uh, a Linux uh, server with uh, Docker and Docker Compose already installed so that I can uh, quickly uh, ramp up and show how traffic works for this setup. And uh, the actual act of uh, installing a container with a web app and routing through traffic, I'll do in a later video. For now, I'll just uh, show you how to set up traffic. I have with me a Docker uh, enable, uh, uh, I have with me a VM in which Docker is already installed and I've mapped a domain name to it as well. And uh, traffic, can be configured using a toml file so this looks like a cross between your yaml and uh, windows.ini format so i specify what all protocols traffic allows in this case http and https and then traffic comes with a default web dashboard which is in port 8080 as mentioned here and then uh, this dashboard can be accessed only by specifying user credentials which i'll be inputting here um, I'll show you how to create this user credentials uh, via the command line. And uh, we expose uh, 80 and 443 for traffic. So whatever tra tra uh, web traffic comes to these ports, traffic is going to route them according to the rules we specify. And uh, you specify the email here, which uh, you'll be notified of when the certificates are uh, you know, expiring. And uh, it stores the TLS information in a file called acme.json. And uh, for verifying that the domain indeed belongs to you, uh, we use a DNS challenge, which uh, traffic you know, creates a TXT record for your domain name using the DigitalOcean API token, which I'll be uh, supplying to the container in the compose file. And uh, ensure that you indeed own the domain which you are claiming uh, the certificates for. So let's go ahead quickly and then see that we are able to access the remote server. Okay, and uh, we have Docker and Docker Compose installed. Uh, let's create a new directory called traffic. Uh, note the spelling here, it's T-R-A-E-F-I-K. Uh, for traffic to um, uh, run uh, correctly, you need to set up a new overlay network, which is very, very specific to traffic. So whatever container falls within this network, traffic is going to install, uh, enable that inside um, your routing. So let's go ahead and create that network. This is the uh, username password for the uh, traffic dashboard uh, credentials. Oh, we don't have this installed, so. I just have to copy and paste this inside my TYML file. I'll put my email here.
That's it. I'm pretty much done with the TYML file. Let me put it here. Okay. Um, let's look at the Docker Compose file, which is used to set up traffic. So um, you can always start it as a simple container command, but it has quite a lot of configuration going through. So I put it as a compose file so that it's easily reusable across uh, different setups. So um, we expose 80 and 443 as mentioned before, and uh, we use the official traffic image which is available in Docker Hub. And we pick up the uh, traffic configuration and then the acme.json from the current working directory. and um, I supply it with a do read write auth token here, which I'll generate right now. I had to remember to remove this, delete this token after the video, so. You have to make sure that the write is checked in, otherwise you want to be able to create txt uh, records. So this will be the domain which I gave over here. This is a way to specify to traffic that uh, whenever the host name matches this, you have to route through this container. And um, I mentioned that the proxy network, which I created, the name of the network is arbitrary. I just had it as proxy. You can have it whatever you want. It's external. So I created it outside of this uh, Docker Compose setup. So once I'm done with this, I can just copy this setup as well. I to create an acme.json file, otherwise traffic is going to complain. And I give it appropriate permissions. All right, I think we are pretty much uh, done with the whole setup. Let's try uh, testing it. You can see that the image is pretty small. It's about 20 MB. And uh, Let's try to hit the traffic dashboard. I'm not sure why I'm getting a HTTP error. So you can see that um, uh, we are exposing the dashboard at port 8080, and then um, this is pretty much the only service which is consuming the traffic router right now. So as you keep on adding more uh, containers with the traffic uh, annotation, they're gonna show up here uh, in real time. So uh, that's pretty much how you configure traffic, and uh, we'll see how to attach a web application to this setup in a future video. And then, bye-bye.